Well, my name is Jay Scott, and I am co-executive director of Alex's Lemonade Stand Foundation. We're a charity that has a funny name and an interesting beginning, um, but we're making a difference in the world for kids with cancer. And so Alex's Lemonade was actually started by my daughter when she had cancer, and she came up with this crazy idea that she was going to set up a lemonade stand in our front yard, raise money, give it to the doctors so that they could help kids like she had been helped. She was on a clinical trial that really changed her life. And, um, you know, as parents, we thought it was a cute idea, but we kind of teased her that she was going to raise five or ten dollars, but she said she wanted to do it anyway. So we let her do it. And um, she raised uh, over two thousand dollars at her first lemonade stand. And from there, she decided she wanted to keep doing lemonade stands each year. Her second lemonade stand, she raised 12,000. Third lemonade stand, it poured rain and she raised 18,000. And you know, she died when she was eight. She started doing this when she was four, but before she died, she had raised over a million dollars with her lemonade stands. And then other people started doing lemonade stands and sending the money to her to help her. So with, with other people's help, she raised a million dollars before she died. Tremendously inspiring story. Thank you. Uh, the tenacity of kids, right? Yeah. Um, so you kept the flame alive and, and you said to yourself, I, I need to keep this tradition moving forward. And, and you set about creating the foundation. Um, you know, what did that look like organizing around this idea and turning it into uh, an organization really? So, you know, it was an interesting uh, decision-making for, for my wife and I, you know, it would have been easier for us if we, if we just moved on, we have three other boys and, 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 um, and help them. But we realized, or my wife realized really that we had a chance to help a lot of other families and other kids if we continued what Alex started. And what she really started was a movement, a movement of people. You know, we, after she died, we heard from so many people that said, you have to keep this going. Mm -hmm. And it was people who were supporters. It was people who had a, their, their own kids with cancer. And so we did, we decided to, to keep it going. And if you fast forward to today, you know, we're one of the largest childhood cancer charities in the world and funding research to try try to find better treatments for kids with cancer. And then we have service, like a lot of people wouldn't realize this, but if your kid is diagnosed with cancer, you don't get the same treatment everywhere in this country. It depends where you live, um, the treatment options you have, especially if you have a kid with a relapse cancer. And so families have to make the decision, are they gonna travel and it's even more difficult now during COVID-19, but are they gonna travel across the country to get a treatment that might save their child's life? And a lot of families can't afford that. And so one of our biggest services that we provide is if there's a treatment that could save a child's life and the family can't afford to get there, we will get them to the hospital that has this treatment to try to save the child's life. Well, I, it's, you know, also growing from an idea where you're donating money to an idea where you're leading the charge and providing services. Um, as an organization, you've grown in diversity, you've grown in need, you've grown in cost and expenses. I mean, a lot of people don't realize that running a foundation is akin to running a business. You've got operating costs, you've got expenses, payroll, personnel, you know, there's corporate giving, there's all sorts of things going on. At what point did you realize that you needed technology as your partner to manage what was going on and kind of leading into what did your journey to NetSuite, finding NetSuite look like? So we realized pretty early on that we wanted to make technology part of what, what we did because it, it helps you scale. And so, you know, us going from Alex having one lemonade stand in our front yard to thousands and thousands of people having lemonade stands in their front yards or in their businesses or um, at their stores or on our school, zoom chat on the zoom chat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Back then, um, or at their school, how do you manage all that? And so technology was the answer. So we, we invested in a web, our website early on to sort of manage these things to give people a, a page on our website, like you guys are using so that they could raise money virtually. Um, and you know, so someone who might have a stand in their front yard and maybe 10 people come, they can send it out to 20 friends. And so you've gone from having 10 potential customers to 30 potential customers. And so that's how we really um, viewed a, a way to, to, to scale things. And, you know, so if you, 
we've raised about $250 million now, you know, from that one lemonade stand up to 250 million. We wouldn't have been able to do that without technology. And so as we were growing our technology, we were trying to figure out what are the best ways to manage um, our donors, you know, because we, we have about 400,000 people that have donated directly to us. That doesn't include people that go to the lemonade stand and drop in a few dollars. Um, and we were, we were struggling with the first couple of softwares that we had. And then, so we were looking for a new software and, and somebody mentioned NetSuite to us. And so, you know, during the, uh, the process, we talked to NetSuite, we talked to a number of other companies, but we thought NetSuite was, um, was a choice for us because it, one of the real things that we liked about it is it, it enabled us to customize it because we do things in a unique way. And so we built tools where NetSuite talks to our website and our website talks to NetSuite. So if somebody makes a donation on our website, it gets into NetSuite. Um, NetSuite talks to our email program, which is HubSpot. Uh, NetSuite talks to our online gift shop. We have a very active gift shop that sells things like the t-shirt that you're wearing. And, and, um, and NetSuite talks to Shopify, um, which is what we use. And so it, it really cuts out a lot of work for us to have NetSuite being able to talk to all these different programs that we're using. It's, it's less things that we have to do manually. Yeah, I find the, the open nature and the open APIs, the ability to connect with any SaaS and find the right solution. You know, it may, may have a little bit of a development cost to it. It may, you know, there might be a solution out on the marketplace, but that's the future is the interconnectivity of all of these solutions so that they all talk to each other. And, and I think, you know, going from like a legacy, you know, on-site or on-prem platform into this cloud environment, now, now you have kind of limitless potential, right? Yeah, I mean, you could grow. You can grow in ways that you couldn't grow before, and and you can cut out a lot of labor, and you could spend that spend that energy and spend that labor uh, contributing to your company or your in our case to our mission. So rather than people doing things manually, they can they can work towards the mission. Yeah, automation is that that uh, uh, you know it's on the horizon. You know, it, it's starting. I think to permeate and there's financial automation, there's market, you mentioned HubSpot, marketing automation, um, you know, there's uh, uh, process automation, fulfillment automation, there's so many pieces of the puzzle. I think the more we go down that road, right, and rely on the, the machines and the AI to do the repetitive administrative clerical stuff that is just monotonous, right? It frees up our people to be more creative, to you know, fill their job roles with the time spent on, on doing things to move the mission forward and uh, saving labor costs so that as a foundation like yourself, you're, you're, you know, maximizing the charitable donations and not spending a lot on administration. I, I totally align with what you're saying. And I, I think the community here does too. So it's great to uh, kind of focus in on some of these topics and say, hey, th this is this is really important to our overall success here as, as a foundation is that we're cutting the wheat from the chaff, we're uh, streamlining, and uh, we're, we're really focused on our goals, right? Yeah, I think it's important. You, and like you said, you pay a little bit more upfront to get these processes automated, but then you have that automation there for months, for years. And, and, I, I, and I think it's better, for, um, it's better for quality control, and, and really it's better for, to, keep, to keep your employees engaged. So you don't burn them out. If they're doing the same thing hundreds and hundreds of times, it can burn people out. Speaking of burnout, um, I think we're all kind of adjusting to a new normal thanks to the COVID pandemic. Um, what have you and the team at ALSF changed about your day-to-day -day activities um, in light of the pandemic? And, and how has NetSuite enabled continuity and your ability to maintain your connection with your donors and things of that nature? Oh, wow. We've changed so much because we, historically we've been so event driven, whether it's the foundation planning events, whether it's our supporters setting up events like lemonade stands and things like that. So we've had to really pivot like everyone else in, in go to the virtual world. Um, so we've done virtual events. We're just coming off the, the end of our biggest, um, one of our biggest events of the year is called lemonade days where thousands and thousands of people, um, do lemonade stands all over. And so 
we didn't want to encourage people to do in-person lemonade stands. So we encouraged them to do virtual lemonade stands. The interesting thing was we had less people do it this year because the people that participate in lemonade days, they usually like the act of doing something physical. Um, and I don't mean physical, like physical exertion, but setting up that lemonade stand with their family or with their company. And so less people did it this year, but they were raising a lot more money mm. uh, on average, which was interesting. So the ones that did it rate, raised more money. And, and going into the last weekend, we were up in the online donations for that particular campaign, which I thought was interesting. We all, we also, another, another thing that we do a lot is um, we do culinary events because chefs are big supporters of, of Alex's lemonade. And, um, and we converted that to our first virtual event where the chefs prepared food and, and we shipped it to people's houses. And then we did a zoom and talked about the food and talked about the cause and the chefs got on and said a few words. Um, so that was really interesting. And we were very nervous because usually when you do an event, you know, you can prepare for the event and it's in your control. But once we put those, um, the food into the boxes on ice and <laughs> gave them to UPS, it was out of our control. Sure. And, and so we shipped out 300 meals and all 300 got there, wow. which was amazing. And such a big relief. You know, I was on the computer tracking, um, every single one of them to see if they got there. <laughs> and, you know, there was a couple that were delayed. There was a couple that were delayed, but we gave ourselves a one day buffer and they all got there. And so, um, the, uh, the virtual, the virtual version of ourselves has added another level of stress because sometimes you have to rely on other people to do things you would have done yourself. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but you, it sounds like as an organization, at least you're finding, creative and fun ways to keep it fresh. I mean, there's a lot of fatigue going on right now. And I think a lot of people are just ready, ready for things to be normal again. But, you know, we've, we've got concerns all over the country in different hotspots and we've all got to look out for each other. So I, I thank you, you know, as an organizer of events myself of trying to, you know, keep it fresh and keep it new and, and keep people engaged. And I, I think we've got to keep sharing those ideas with each other and uh, uh, support. Interestingly, Interestingly, um, the people who participated in this event, they got on early, they stayed late. Mm. Um, we only lost one person for the whole, the whole time. Only one person dropped off and they wanted to stay. They wanted to talk afterwards because people have been doing Zooms for work, but this was personal and they were enjoying it. And some people hadn't been out of their houses. So this was sort of their way to have a glimpse and some companionship with other people. And then with NetSuite, um, as far as the foundation goes in the virtual world, it has been really great for our staff because it's much easier for us to use NetSuite than it was our last program. And so people are using it. They're using it a lot. And, you know, if they have a contact with a, with a donor, you know, they update it real time on NetSuite and then other people who might look into that record can see it, can see it. And we're just finding that staff is using it and updating it a lot more um, because they enjoy using it it's, uh, it's intuitive. Awesome. So, um, I, I know we're running a little late and we, we got to move on. I could talk to you for hours, Jay. I think, you know, we just have fun talking to each other, but, uh, let me ask you a couple of other things real quick. So, um, I know we came together today with a challenge to our NetSuite user group to raise $12,000 for Alex's Lemonade Stand Foundation. And, uh, all Michelle and I got were these t-shirts, right? Um, I don't know exactly where we were at before we started the conversation. I think we were 20% of the way to our goal. Um, I'm really hoping that this conversation sparks people to get on uh, the website and go over there, uh, make a donation today. But I did want to ask you, um, so we make a donation. How, how does that money get spent? What, what, is, uh, what are the NetSuite users contributing to today? So the bulk, of our, the bulk of our donations go to research, which is looking for new treatments. So childhood cancer takes the lives of more kids in the United States than any other disease. And a lot of people don't realize that until you know someone who gets childhood cancer. And so we're researching uh, for new treatments and better treatments. Because another interesting thing about childhood cancer is the kids that survive it, 70% um, of them, about 70% have a lifelong side effect from the treatment not from the cancer, but from the treatment, because the treatments that we have historically treated kids with cancer with have given them 
brain damage, eye damage, hearing damage, heart damage, kidney damage. And so we're looking for treatments where we can save the kids' lives and not give them these lifelong side effects from the treatment itself. So that's what we do with the bulk of our money is we fund research looking for new treatments. And we've made a lot of progress um, looking at um, treatments that uh, are immunotherapies where it boosts the immune system of the kids so that they can fight off the disease themselves um, and not have to give them as much or any chemotherapy. That's, the, that's what we're really going for. Excellent. Um... All right, we're, uh, we're gonna wrap up. We're gonna get you back into your day. You've got a lot of important things to do for the foundation. We sincerely appreciate your time and we're gonna keep our user group moving forward. Uh, a final question for you, Jay. Um, can you give your fellow NetSuite users any advice on uh, overcoming challenges and, and tragedy um, to make lemonade when life gives you, gives you lemons? I think the key is, you know, try to make the world a better place, a little bit better each day than it was the day before. If you can just do something positive, keep moving forward, baby steps, you can get over just about any, any tragedy. But it's, you know, it's not gonna all happen at once. You just have to do it a little bit at a time. And if you do a little bit at, at a time, in the end, you've done a lot. Awesome. Um, Jay, you are a power NetSuite user. Um, you're an evangelist for the platform. Uh, we really appreciate you taking the time to speak with us today.